When her children want food, Tinasha Roll Munuagona has to distract them with television. Like many others in northern Mozambique, an escalating Islamist insurgency forced Tinasha to flee her home. When they watch, they forget their hunger. They have gotten used to it. There is no other way. We left many things behind. Here, we depend on people's kindness. Attacks by militants with links to Islamic State began in the gas-rich Cabo Delgado province in 2017. But the violence has gathered pace this year, with insurgents briefly seizing key towns and hitting military and other targets. The World Food Programme said people have fled their homes, abandoned their crops and become completely reliant on humanitarian assistance. Lola Castro is the UN body's regional director. At this moment, we have 310,000 people around the provinces of Cabo Delgado, Nampula and Nyasa. And also, UNHCR has reported that around 1,000 refugees has crossed the Rovuma into Tanzania. Operations and pitch battles in the region's remote villages between government forces and insurgents have led to civilian casualties as well as the destruction of homes and schools. Earlier this month, footage emerged of men in military uniform beating and executing a naked unarmed woman in Cabo Delgado. The Mozambican army condemned the video as horrifying. 